Hello friends, welcome back to my channel again, Code With Me. In this session, we will be talking about another interesting to topic of C programming language that is Array. What is an Array? Array is nothing but a collection of similar data types. Just like we store the, very, uh, just like we store the data in a variable, the same way is stored in Array also. In this session, we also come across how do we declare and define an Array, what is single dimension Array and what is two dimensional array so let me start with how do we declare and define an array so friends before that i'll just take this out and in, in my previous video friends you guys have come across how do we declare a variable and how do we add a value to it and how do we print the variables this is how we print the variables in x and i'll give a value to it x equals n, and this is how we declare a variable i'm sorry x equals 10 so here i have declared a variable x and I have added a value to it as 10 let me, give, let, me uh, let me give give you a clear example of why array came into existence see friends assume there are five students in class now now i want to store the age of five students if i want to uh, if i want to print the age of five students what i will do i'll just Create a five variables of age. So, uh, age of student one is ten, age of student two is twelve, age of student three is fourteen, age of student four is sixteen, and age of student five is more like eighteen. Okay, friends. Now here I have declared the age of five students, and I vary along with the variable and value assigned to it. Now assume there are hundred students in class. It doesn't make sense to create 100 variables and printing 100 variables and accepting the input of 100 variables. What happens by declaring in this way? What happens, friends? The size of the code increases as there are the number of students increase. So in order to in order to avoid these circumstances, array initialize. Now, friends, in this program, what we are trying to print, we are trying to print the age of the students. What I will do? I'll create an array a variable called as age and followed by 100 here friends have declared an array so age represents as array name int represent as type of the array i mean data type of the array and 100 represent the size of the array so this is how you declare an array friends now see friends now i will tell you how do you initialize an array assume there are few students in class so i will declare it as age of students and age of second student age of third student now you guys have question in mind why did i add age of zero age of one age of two the most important thing in array friends you must keep that in mind that array never start with one two and three array installation always starts from a zero and size minus one here zero one two three and if there are four elements zero one two three if there are five elements 0 1 2 3 4 no matter what is the size of the array the array installation always starts with a zero friends and how do we add the values support friends i'll just add the value of the first student as 12 and the value of second student as 14 and the value of third student as 16. so here what happens is i successfully declared the age of three students now now i want to now if you want to execute a program using this particular age of five students i'll explain you in a programmatic question i'll just take this out so i'll just try to code it for you as include stereo dot h as include conio dot h and followed by a main program what happens uh, here I declare an array teacher a age of five student and for by declare another variable that is i we are declaring i friends so friends here i have declared declared an, an array of age of five students and followed by a variable i the reason i have declared a variable i friends but since i am storing 
the age of five students, it's not necessary to print the printf student five times and scanf function five times. It doesn't make any sense. So what I will do, I'll just put that in a loop. How shall I put it? Since I'll create a for loop. So for loop, I'll declare variable int i equals zero because since the installation of array starts from zero, I'll start with zero and followed by i less than or equal to five and i plus plus. I'll open it. I'll add a printf statement. Print enter the value of to I'm sorry friends, let's take this up and uh, enter as enter the student age. Student age and I'll add percent D. Reason I'm adding percent D friends, let you know during the output. I'll add percent D and, and at the end of the line, I'll add D. And I'll end this printf statement as using a semicolon and I will scan this function. I mean, read the input will enter it with percent D and followed by percent age of I. So, the scanner function is stating that in a loop that you're accepting five input, which, uh, which is stored in an array of age. See here, friends, here, here, here is showing is array of installation of zero less than five means zero one two three four five elements and in i'll read it as age of a of five in the sense it is showing that the whatever you enter whatever the data you enter it will, it will be stored in the array age and nextly i want to print the array the printing the array will let will let you know the number of elements the type of the elements it is stored how shall i print the elements let's copy this for loop friends and I'll place it here. I'll just, take, I'll just take off the scanf function, which is used to read the input variables, and I'll just make a slight changes to this printf scan printf function. Enter the students' age. English. The students' age are the and followed by percent d. Here, I'll just take this i and directly print the age instead of the count of the loop. And when I run this program, you can clearly observe. Enter the value of age zero. The reason it is showing age zero because now listen carefully, friends. Here I have entered as loop i loop i equals zero. Enter the student age and percent d, and followed by this percent d belongs to a variable i. That means, in a sense, friends, as the loop gets incremented, the value of percent d also increment. Now listen, enter the uh, student age. I'll enter the first student age as twelve. I'm sorry. Yes, friends, I'll enter the student as 12 and second student as 14 and third student as 16 and fourth student as 18 and fifth student as 20. When I press the enter, friends, you can clearly observe the age of all the five students as displayed in a formal way 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. This is called as single dimension array. This is how you execute and this is how you declare and define and initialize values to arrays. So now let's jump to the two dimensional arrays. So friends, in single dimensional array, there will be a data type followed by array name and followed by array size. In two dimensional array friends, we will have one more column, just like the size of an array, add one more column as T. Two dimensional array friends usually used in matrix type of program. If you want to code a matrix, it will help you to display a matrix. Here I declared as int h. I'll just take this h and declare as I'll give the name of the matrix as x. Now the, uh, the variable the array declared here explains that that you have declared a matrix x which includes five rows and three columns. Here five represent as rows and three represent as columns. Now, how do you initialize the value to his friends? I'll explain you. X of zero, X of zero, and X of zero and X of followed by one. X of zero and X of two. So what I'll do is so let's copy this for more clarity. What will here you can see X of zero. I'll take this zero. We'll take this as put it as one. 
I'll put it as I'll take the zero and put it as one and tell take the zero and put it as one and here here I'll take the zero and put it as two here also I'll take this entire column as of zero and mark it as two and in this row I'll take this zero and mark it as three And here I'll take this zero and mark it as four. So friends, now you can clearly observe I have successfully uh, subdivided rows and columns. In conclusion, that there are five rows and three columns. Now I want to initialize the value to it. How do I initialize? Suppose first value of x of zero and zero, I'll mark it as twelve. I'll declare all the values as same. Control C. So friends, now by doing this way, this is the same value for the all 15 and all the 15 columns sorry all the 15 row and columns now we can clearly observe that there are 15 elements in this matrix of x which includes five rows and six columns so how do you, if you want to put that in a programmatic phase i'll just call it for you friends i'll just take this out this i'll just take this out The coding of these two dimensional is formed to be similar to that of single dimensionary, but it is a slight difference. As you can see, there is a, another block of three. I'll declare two variables i, one is for five rows and another for columns. So, what happens? I'll create two loops for a is equal to zero as arrays initial installation start with zero and followed by the size of the row. Here, I have entered the size of the row as five and followed by the i increment. And I create another root column j equals zero and j is less than equal to three because I given the value of column is three and j plus plus. Yeah, like here I'll add a print up statement as is enter the val value of percent d percent d. So it will let you know that what number I mean what which data that you're storing in inside the matrix whether you're storing whether you're storing the first data or second data or third data or 15 data 14 data it will clearly let you know so what here i added percent d percent d followed by a new line character and i will add the variables which it belongs to here it will to i and j and in this printer shooting using a semicolon i'll add a scan of function percent d and a percent and stating that this value belong to a matrix x of i and x of j second thing is a slight mistake so we we'll take this percentage and add a percent now you can clearly observe scan is successfully completed now i want to add all the matrix how do i print it i'm sorry now i want to print the number of matrix so let's copy this loop Press enter, friends. Now you can clearly observe. I'll just take this scanf function is used to read the inputs and I'll just, let's make a slight changes in the printf function and I'll just directly enter the I'll just directly enter the value and initialize it to and plus, uh, x of i and j. So when I run the program, friends. Just a second, friends. So, friends, I have entered the two-dimensional program here. Now, run the program. You can see here. Enter the value of zero zero. So, here I will enter the all fifteen values: one, two, third element, fourth element, fifth element, sixth element, seventh element, eighth element, ninth element, tenth element, eleventh element. 12th element, 15th element, 14th element, and 15th element. So when I press the enter friends, now you can clearly observe that the output is successfully displayed in the format of matrix itself only. Now you can clearly observe that there are five rows and three columns as the way you have declared the matrix. See here, you have declared the, mat uh, declared the array as x of five rows and three columns. The output is showing the, as the way you have declared an array of 
five rows and three columns this is how two dimensional work so friends here this session ends here in this session we have come across what is array how do you declare an array how do you declare a single dimensional array and two dimensional array so if you like this video friends you can to kindly please like share and subscribe and if you have any doubts regarding a single dimensional array two dimensional and an array also you can to kindly pin down your doubt in the comment section i'll definitely reply you guys thank you very much have a nice day